Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am bringing you my chocolate bar concertina. Um, each one of these lovely boxes holds a chocolate bar. They all open individually. Famous last words. But anyway, they do all open individually. They all have um, a chocolate bar inside and they're varying sizes so I've sort of gone with the larger version. Um, and obviously they then close up to keep those chocolates safe and then when you take this belly band off you have this concertina of boxes that glue's come undone a little bit there but yeah you have this lovely concertina of boxes that then folds back up together and then you just pop your belly band carefully back on Oh, crumbs. I'm just mindful I don't want to catch the DSP, that's all. There we go. So, pop my belly band back on, and there we go. A fabulous gift, I think. And you can't even tell there's um, any concertina going on, so you'd think it was just a pack of boxes all put together. So, let's go ahead and make it. I'll pop that one there. So, for each box, you will need four. And these are seven and a half by five and a half or 19 by 14 and a half centimeters. We then need to do some scoring. So on the long side of your paper, and it's dependent on which side you want as your um, paper to show, you will score at one, five and a half and six and a half. In centimeters, that will be two and a half, 14 and 16 and a half and on the short side we're going to score at one and a half two and a half four and five and in centimeters that will be four six and a half ten and a half and thirteen we are then going to fold and burnish all of our score lines Beautiful DSP. I really like this, think it's so pretty. And just need to do these ones as well. And this is a really simple box type um, design. So you've got one end with two score lines and one end with just one. So it's the bottom end with the one. We're just going to cut up those vertical score lines to the horizontal score line. And I've no oh no. And then when you get to the last one, we're just going to cut this away with a tiny little wedge. And then we're going to repeat the same. So turn it round. You've got this skinny section here. So we're going to cut down to the two um, second score line there and cut a wedge so you're just left with that thin strip on that end end rather and then where we have these panels here so this as you're now looking at it with your two panels here you're going to cut down to the second score line on all of these so the first one to the left that's next to your skinny part you're going to take the top one off and cut wedges into the sides. The second one you're going to cut away both panels. You're going to repeat on this one so take the top box off and cut some wedges. And then on this very last one you're going to take a really really thin slither just off the size of the top top bit just there okay and that is what you should then be left with I'll turn it around the right way so we have what we would have as the lid here what I call the shoulders and a space your thin tab and then these bottom ones cut up separately so I'm going to put adhesive on the long panel there and I'm also going to put it on the two smaller sections 
and this end one here. So fold it over and seal this one and then back up I'm going to pop those two edges in there I'm actually fibbing to you here those two in then this one and then this one put your bone folder in if you need to just to press that adhesive down on the bottom pop your chocolate bar inside and then close your box up and then this is where you need to have cut very thin slithers because it will make your lid sit tightly and not pop open so I've made my others here so I now have all four boxes make sure they all open the same way okay so as you can see I've used alternate coordinating papers so then you need your hinges. So for your hinges, you can either use one piece of DSP that is two by four and a half and scored in a half, uh, scored half on the short side, so scored at one centimeter, um, which is five by eleven and a half, and you would score at two and a half. If you want to, you can just stick that on and use them like that and then I would probably use this one to hold those two together but as you can see that loses the image of those alternate things so I've already gone ahead and scored these in half but then what I've done is I've got a sheet of the DSP so I'm going to use this one to go on here and I've then also cut another strip that's one inch by four and a half or two and a half by eleven and a half that I'm going to stick over the top so it keeps that alternative bit so I'm going to go ahead and stick this one on here I've got gold leafing stuck in my tape because I used that a little while ago so this is just literally stuck over the top like so I'm going to fold that score line and then I'm going to run adhesive on this and stick that on to the side of these two. You can use wet glue if you want, it's no, uh, no difference. So I'm going to repeat that again now for this one. So that is going to get stuck on this side. If you, like me, have stuck it on and you've got some of the pattern showing that you don't want, you just simply give it a trim. Give that a fold. And then I'm going to stick this one onto this pair. Okay, so they will now sit like that and it doesn't look any different. I'm going to flip it over because I now need to adhere these middle two. Okay, so I want to make sure that I put my pattern on the right way and that it's if it's patterned, it's also running the same way. So that needs to go on this side. Again, give this a fold and then add my adhesive. And like I said, this goes on the middle two. a little bit harder when you've got them all stuck together but and then that will generate your concertina which I think just looks brilliant I love it okay belly band is the length of an A4 by one and a half or four centimeters and I literally I'm just gonna I did a little bit cheeky actually um no I didn't so you're going to pop it on because there's not a lot of um, wiggle room for this so I give them a little temporary burnish there a temporary fold just so as I can get that line right and then line up my sides and burnish same here so I'm going to make sure it's straight 
and burnish that. So that will now sit on there. Flip them over and then again fold and fold. But I'm also going to make a mark with my nail just so I can see where it overlaps. I'm just going to reinforce that bit there. Line these up again and refold. And then line that one up. There we go. And then all I need now is a strip of adhesive just where I put my mark. Pop those in. And then all I need to do is make sure they're level and adhere it. Okay. So it doesn't matter which way round you want to have your box but I put the seam actually on the front, on the top. So I've then got some basic white and the Label Me Lovely Punch. So that's gonna sit on there. I then have, actually I need that back because I then need my Plentiful Plants and this little bit here, which I haven't actually used yet. Uh, well, apart from the, the original, obviously. So I just need that. And I'm going with some soft succulent. Just to stamp a couple of these. And then, don't need that one. Then I want some just jade. I'm going to put that one away and then I want uh, to a dear friend which is there. Oops crumbs nearly nearly went in the ink. This is just going to go down the bottom there. Get rid of that ink. So I want my paper trimmer to just trim that one. So I am just going right down to basics. Get off. So I need that. And then I want my lovely perfect plant dies. And the die for that. I'm going to sneeze, so I do apologise. <laughs> Bless me. And then I'm going to use my little mini here just to quickly run these through. It helps if you put the die the right way around, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to run this through. So there's one. And then my second one. Just quickly run this one through as well. Okay, so get this out of the way. Okay, so I want to put dimensionals on the back of these. I think, yes, large ones fit nicely. And again, on this one. I want to adhere this onto my oh, crumbs. That was so off centre. Onto here, just for a little bit of backing. I'll grab my scissors and trim this down. There 
There we go. Dimensionals, not those ones. One here. And then pop these on. So I'm going to pop one at the top there and one at the bottom. And I'm just putting them low enough just to hide the um, top and bottom of that um, punch, my lovely label punch. Label me lovely. And this will just sit in the centre. And then before I put it on here, I want to use some of this gorgeous Just Jade and Gold uh, braided ribbon. <laughs> so, tear and tape my fave. So I'm going to pop a bit there, spin this over. I want to put a length just on the centre. So, take the backing off this piece. And pop the edge on. Then roll him over, keep him relatively taut, backing off and this just really keeps this in place and stops it from slipping. And if you do it just right you won't get to see any of that adhesive. And then back over again I just need another bit here just to pop over and hold that one in place. Take the backing off. Still make sure it's central. I'm pulled quite tight so you don't get any sagging parts. And trim. And then I'm actually going to use another strip over the top because that will not only help keep the ribbon in place did I use no. um, I'm adding a little bit of tape either side backing off and then finally pop my sentiment on the top and there we go there are my chocolate bar concertinas hope you like them thanks for joining me and i hope to see you all again soon bye